Okay, folks, this is a new video, so pay attention closely. How many times have I told you that Elvis had an identical twin who supposedly died at birth, okay? And I told you it can be spelled two different ways, okay? With the I or without the I. On his gravestone, it's spelled with an I. And I told you that Trump is the replacement twin for the supposed dead twin, okay? Trump is the devil twin. So I'm not sure if you know this, but Elvis, he had a motto. See, I put Elvis's motto was taking care of business. And he would call it TCB, okay? And he even had jewelry and many other things with the TCB on it. Now, take a look at this very carefully, okay? Notice that it has a jewel on the top right here. Okay, this is like the the crown or the eye on the top of the pyramid. Do you get what I'm saying? He, this is basically Elvis, you know. And TCB actually is CTB. And I'll tell you why. Because C, C is the third letter, T is the 20th letter, and B is the second letter. So it's the 322, the 322 skull and bones, you see. And Elvis, everything connects him to the 322, but I'm not going to show it in this video. I showed it a long time ago, and the video got taken down by YouTube. And George Bush Sr., the 41st president, right? George Bush Sr., he, look at his name. He was part of the Skull and Bones. And they named him Magog. Can you believe that? That's like a biblical term, Gog and Magog. And his son, who also became president, uh, he was born in 1946. Bill Clinton, he was born in 1946. And Trump was born in 46. All these guys are presidents. You see that? And they're all born in 1946. So Elvis was born in 1935. Trump was born in 46, then came Bush, born in 46, and Clinton born in 46, in that order, okay? And I'm going to get to why it's so important, this 1946. And check this out, you see? It's TBC. That's uh, the Elvis's motto letters. Taking care of business, you know? It's TCB. But <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say? It's a, it's the same letters as their last names. You know, isn't that interesting? And check this out. It's taking care of business, right? What's the O? There's a missing, but see how it's, you know, it's a small, you know, they don't even count it because it's, you know, taking care of business. He doesn't even put the O in there, you know? And look, because see Obama, I told you they needed Obama to finish off this charade. He is like the capstone to the Elvis Trump puzzle. And uh, he's the O, okay? And that's because, uh, first of all, he's 20, Elvis, uh, from Elvis's birthday to Obama's birthday is 26 years, and the word God equals 26. And from Trump's birthday to Obama's birthday, it's 15 years. And the 15th letter of the alphabet is the O. So the O is a crown, like I said. And that's why it's 15 years after all three of these guys are born. See, uh, they get one crown for all three of these guys. For Trump, Bush, and Clinton, they get one crown. You get what I'm saying? The Obama crown. <laughs> But, you know, Elvis, he's, you know, he gets all the crowns, you know, the 10 crowns, if you get what I'm saying. 
He's the biblical antichrist. And also, that's what this could be also. This could be the O, the Obama on the top, and these three, you know, uh, Clinton, Trump, Bush, and that's their crown, the Obama, but Elvis is the controller of them all. Do you get what I'm saying? And like I said, Elvis used it on all his stuff, you see? Even on his airplane. You see how it's got a lightning bolt, too. You see that? And Barack, you know, uh, his name means lightning in Hebrew or something like that. And look, triple seven, you see? Do you understand what I'm showing here? That's his airplane. EP stands for Elvis Presley, you see? And I told you that this year was his most important birthday where he turned 87 years old. And I've explained to you, you know, many times why it's it's the most important. It, it all connects to the Antichrist. And so his birthday, like I said, is January 8th. And 2022, he turned 87 this year. And I told you that Trump is his devil twin. And isn't it interesting there that this year, Graceland, you know, that's where Elvis used to live. They're, they're doing something called Elvis 45. Can you believe this? This year? And, you know, because it's going to be 45 years since his death on August 16th. But right now it's still 44. But 45th president is Trump. You understand? And Trump is also the 44th person to become president. So he's the 44-45, like I told you. If you've been watching my videos, how important that is. Anyway, like I said, Elvis had an identical twin that died at birth, supposedly. And I told you that Jesse, this is how it's spelled on his uh, gravestone. This is his supposed dead twin. And I told you he's got my name. That's my name, G-A-R-O, in his dead twin's middle name. And by the way, his initials equal 33. JGP equals 33. So remember, I told you that Elvis turned 87 in 222. Get it? In 2022. The 222, he turned 87. Let's see what Jesse Garone Presley is, what it equals. Look what it equals, Jesse Garone Presley. 222. 87 okay these are the most important numbers the first two this is the forward number this is the backward and all these are totals for these numbers it's 22287 and i just told you elvis turned 87 in 222 i mean 2022 get it and remember i told you all three presidents were born in 46 these three and uh, Trump is the number one guy, like I said, that's connected to Elvis. He is the devil twin. What's so important about this 1946? 1946 equals 222.87. You see? See what I'm talking about? And look, there's even an 8-4 because I told you Trump's going to get his head wound on August 4th, 8-4 which is also Obama's birthday. But 1946 equals 22287. And I just got finished showing you that his identical twin, Elvis, is, is equals 22287. Which has to do with Elvis turning 87 and 222. And like I said, Obama plays a big part in this charade, okay? He's the fake Antichrist. And and he was born on the 216th day of the year, the 216. Okay, it's very important, this 216 date. Because uh, everything is about the 222 and the 216. Watch. So the word perfect, pay attention, okay? The reason I'm showing you this is because the word perfect is very important. It equals 7337. You notice it's the same numbers, okay? And it's the most important two numbers because 
7337 looks like the word E-L. Okay, E-L means God in Hebrew. All right, that's what makes it so important. And just real quick, let me show you that from January 8th, Elvis's birthday to August 4th is 208 days or 209, 209 days if you count the day. So 208 days. It's interesting because Barack Obama became president in 2008. You see what I'm saying? And between Elvis's birthday and August 4th is 208. And from Elvis's birthday, the day he was born, to the day Obama was elected president, not became president, elected president. In 2008, it's 73 years, you see? It's the 7337 for the EL. If you turn the numbers 73 upside down, it's the EL. You think that's a coincidence? It's not, okay? And you know Elvis, because I just showed you the 73 connected to Elvis and Obama. The 37 with Elvis, when Elvis was 37 years old, look what pops up when I asked, how old was Elvis in 1972? Look what pops up. Something about June 11th. Because I told you on June 11th, Seattle's going to be struck this year. And look. Elvis was 37 years old in 1972, right? And um, and who was the president during 1972? Because, you know, this was 1972 when Elvis turned 37. Who was president? Richard Nixon was president. And Richard Nixon was the 37th president. Do you understand? The 37 is the E-L. And look, he was born one day after Elvis, the date, January 9th, not the year. He's actually, uh, uh, Elvis is born January 8th. Look how everything connects, you see? And look at this, from Nixon's birthday to Elvis's birthday, the day he was born, it's 22 years, you see? You see how that, because the 2-2, two, two, I told you it's 2022, do you understand? And look at the, look at the number, 8035. He's born in 835, just missing the one. And you know Elvis Aaron Presley, his name equals 216. And it's, this is how it's spelled on his tombstone. I told you everything is about the 222 and the 216. I mean just ima just what's the chances that his twin is 222 and Elvis is is the 216. And of course what I showed you earlier with the 1946 equaling the same as you know the his dead twin Which all connects to this year, like I said, where he turns 87 in 2022. And I told you Elvis is the Antichrist. Look, the beast of revelation equals the exact same, not the, just the front numbers, 22287 again. And this is this year where Elvis turned 87 in 2022. Do you understand? And by the way, look how rare it is, okay? This is not just a coincidence. There's only one year in all of 1900s that equal 216, and that's 1983. And I'm going to show you how that connects in a moment. And there's only two years, all of 1900s, that equal 222. And that's 1946, the year that Bush, Clinton, and, and Trump were born. And the next time is 1998 in the 1900s. Now check this out. From Elvis's birthday to to 1983, the year that equals 216. I told you 1983 equals 216. What I just showed you, it's 48 years. Look, it's the 8-4 backwards. The day Trump's going to get his head wound and Obama's birthday, 8-4. Uh, he turned 48 years old, Elvis, in the year 
1983, which equaled 216. And you know who won the Super Bowl, the 48th Super Bowl? Is Seattle Seahawks. You see that? That's the only time they won a Super Bowl, and it was the 48th. So, but it wasn't in 1983. This was in 2014. But the point I'm trying to make is it's the 48. And Elvis turned 48 in the year 216. That's all I'm saying. The year that equaled 216, which is 1983. Now, let's connect it to, to Trump. From Trump's birthday, the day he's born, to 1983, he turned 37. You see? And I just told you how important the 37 is. It's the EL number. So so Trump, who was born in 1946, which is the 222 year, you know, 1946 equals 222, to 1983, the year it equals 216, he becomes the EL, you see? And look at those numbers, 444. And earlier, you remember that I was telling you that from Nixon's birthday to Elvis's birthday was 22 years and had the exact same number, 8035. From Trump's, I mean, from Obama's birthday, the day he's born to the year 1983, which is the 216 year, is 22 years. You see that? To 1983. The year Trump became the EL. And August 4th is the 216th day of the year. And 1983 is equals 216. You see what I'm saying? August 4th is the 216th day of the year, the day Trump gets his head wound. And it's 22 years from the day Obama was born to the 1983 year, which equals 216. And now check this out. So the only other year, like I said, I just connected the Obama, who was born on the 216th day of the year, to the year 1983, which equals 216. Now, the from the only other year that equals 222 is 1998. From Obama's birthday, the day he's born, to the year 1998, he becomes the EL. You understand? You see that? Just like Trump became the EL in 1983, the, and 1983 was the 216 year, and 1998 is the 222 year, and uh, Obama's born on the 216, you see? And he becomes the L in the 222 year. I know this is confusing, but if you just pay attention, you'd understand. And, and you know, Trump, Trump was person of the year in 2016 because he was the, he got elected president in 2016. See, it's the 216, you understand? And from Trump's birthday to, to the 2016, which is the 216. You see what I'm saying? It's a, it's the numbers 216. It's 840 months. 84 again. Do you see? Trump's going to get his head wound on 84. And the 216th day of the year is is 84. 216. Get it? But Trump didn't become president until 2017. He just he just won the presidency in 2016. But he became president in 2017. And when you say 2017, you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say 2017. 2017 equals 216. You see? Like I said, uh, <laughs> the, if you think these are coincidences, you're nuts. There's no other way to explain this to you. And like I said, Trump's going to get his head wound on August 4th. And you know what happened on August 4th, 2020, uh, was the Beirut explosion. And I am I was born in Beirut, Lebanon. And you see, it's got the 22 in there. 
anything to do with the two two or the triple twos, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, August fourth, twenty twenty. That's when Trump's going to get his head wound in twenty twenty two. But it's if you wrote it without, you know, if you just said eight four twenty two, that would be this year. Do you get it? Anyway. So what's the chances that that happened? The biggest explosion we've ever seen on television. And look, from that day to the day Trump gets his head wound, it's 730. There's your 73 with a crown. And I told you that Trump gets his head wound on 8-4-22 this year. And remember, it's 2022. It's the 222. August 4th is a 216. Do you get it? 216, 222. Just like Elvis Aaron Presley equals 216 and his twin equaled 222. And notice it's the 87 under the 222. And Elvis turned 87 into 222 this year. 2022 and 1946 equals 22287 and so does Elvis's dead twin 22287 and remember 1946 is when Trump was born when Bush was born and when Clinton was born the three presidents and the beast of revelation Equals 22287. Same thing as everything I'm showing you right here. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Anyway, like I said, don't mix up my predictions. My one prediction is Trump gets his head wound on August 4th, Obama's birthday. He survives the head wound. And it's most likely in Ohio, the head wound. But for sure on 8-4. And the other prediction is Elvis somehow manifests after this spectacular event in Seattle. All right. Anyway, folks, end of video.